Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Bill. Good luck today. For me, white marlin fishing is, well, it's my passion. John Duffy. He's uh, very passionate about boats, fishing, outdoors. He is a great human being. He cares a lot, a lot, a lot about this industry. He, he, he's pretty humble about it. He won't admit it to you, but he's, he's up there with one of the best. My father, like my first time offshore, I think I was two and a half. My father actually tied my car seat to the flying bridge of our 25 foot Bertram and he took us to the Baltimore Canyon. It's not a good idea, but he thought it was a great idea and I thank him for it. I just love all the aspects that go into it. Figuring out which way the water's moving, figuring out which way the fish are moving in the water, what dredges we need to be pulling, teasers, and the bite. To me, what gets me going is when the people get the bite and coming tight and putting the boat into a turn and knowing that that fish probably isn't alone and that he's got buddies with him that are just down there watching. And I feel like when done correctly and your spread's right and everything's going well, there's a really good chance that the rest of them are gonna come in there and the chance of catching multiples, you know, triples and quads and racking up numbers, that's what it's all about. You know, you want to see how well you can do every day. And that's what I love is just trying to do my best and the, the, the whole crew on the boat, that everyone works together and that we're all just firing on all cylinders and catch the most. That's what I want to do. I just want to catch the most. I'm trying my hardest every minute of the day to catch the most fish. My friend, Charles William Gerlach III. I met this guy in Palm Beach, Florida, and for an entire year, I did not know that he owned a shirt. I probably wasn't wearing a shirt back then. He just woke up in the morning, he must have had plenty of board shorts, a giant Florida gold chain with a big hog snapper on it that is literally imprinted on his body because his tan line on this thing. Even if he didn't have it on, you could still see clearly what it was. We just hit it off, started fishing together, and I invited him to come up to Maryland, do some white marlin fishing. Early mornings are not Billy's style. At first, I thought this was really stupid. You guys get up at four o'clock in the morning to run 90 miles to catch some stupid fish we can't even kill. Run 90 miles home and it sucks, it's wet. But when you start catching them and you get to see what we've seen, makes it all worth it.
he is literally like a family member with my family. Whenever we go somewhere on the boat, my parents are like, I hope Billy's going. Is Billy going with you? Are you guys gonna run the boat to Mexico? Is Billy gonna go? Yes, mom, Billy's gonna go. Oh, thank God. I better make him some brownies. Fishing alongside of Billy is awesome because we work well together. He fishes the exact same way we do. He's really aggressive, aggressive on the fish, aggressive in his maneuvering, you know. He's good at staying on the fish and staying on the bite. I know when he's seeing fish that if we go where he is, we're gonna see him also. And then it becomes a head-to-head -head thing where we're just competing with each other. Sometimes we forget about everyone else that's around because we spend so much time trying to outdo one another or fish against one another. Yeah, there's added pressure. You're fishing against the best there is. You know, you're, I want to beat him and he wants to beat me. You know, I don't care if it's a fun day or no tournament, I still don't want to lose. You know, he don't want to lose and I don't want to lose and we're going to compete till we die, I promise you that. We're going to be 90 years old still trying to whoop each other's ass and fishing or whether it be catching sardines in the bait buoy at home or blue mall fishing, I mean, it don't matter. It's just who we are. We try to beat each other and that's all there's going to be. There's, don't matter. He is doing an incredible job. He's become an incredibly talented captain. He does a great job for Tom, the owner of the boat. He's got a good crew with Zach and Chip. They catch a ton of fish. They're really good. Billy would love to outfish us all the time, and that's his goal is to try to beat us. Unfortunately for him, he's still got a little way to go. A uh, really special days of white marlin fishing where you have you know, double digit bites or you're fortunate enough to catch double digits or even have a day where you catch say 20, which is really incredible. I mean, to go out there up here in the mid-Atlantic and catch 20 marlin in a day is just a really special moment.